Hi guys, in this sum up chapter, we will discuss long strangle and short strangle in one lecture. Now, as you remember, in long strangle, we need the price to move away from the strike prices. Whereas in the short strangle, we need the price to stay within a certain bend. Now, as we discussed earlier, you need to pick a stock that is a renowned name, a blue chip company with exceptional volume. And you don't need to pick any company that is a renowned name but is like very low on volume. Reason being, you need to get out at the exact moment. When your plan says get out, you get out. You cannot stick to the like stock when the price is falling. So you need to have a heavy volume share because as the share will, uh, as the stock will have like a heavy volume, then automatically options of that stock will also have a good volume for you to trade on it. So now let's see. Wait a minute now, as you can see, currently it's in a straight band. So it's good for like a short strangle, but not for long strangle. But we will wait to see any movement to like take the benefit of short or long strangle because currently it's moving straight. So we need to wait. Now right here on this day, it has moved outside the Bollinger Band, the top Bollinger Band, which means that we can initiate the long strangle. Why? Because a long strangle is designed when you know that the price is moving away, it's moving in a direction, then you can make good money from it. Otherwise, you will get stuck. Now, as you can see, I have drawn two lines. Now, this line acts as the number for put option. Let's make it 61.25. And let's make it 6250. So these are the two strike prices that we have selected. The top one is call option. The bottom one is put option. Now let's see what happens next. One day, two day, three day, four day, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. As you can see, it has gone up, up and up. Why? Because our Bullinger Band technique works every time. Once the stock opened up, we knew that the direction was up and we bought it. Now, as it is going up, so your profit is getting like really handsome profit, multiplied profit. Why? Because basically on expiry, you will simply purchase this call option and sell it on the top, the stock, right? And this put option will expire automatically worthless. So, this call option is your best bet. If the price would have gone lower, then you would have like uh, shorted the stock right here and bought it on the bottom and let this call option expire worthless. Okay, so now you understand the concept. But the basic thing that no one teaches in other courses is how to pick a trend. Because if you would have initiated the long strangle right here, it would have gone straight and could have given you a huge loss. So it's really important to know the direction. Because if you don't know the direction, you can never make good money. So always, whenever you are trading, pick the direction. If the direction is on your side, you can easily make money. And that's the number one reason why a hedge fund, mutual fund generate awesome amounts of profits from these strategies, option strategies. Whereas the retail investor, they don't even make a dime. Why? Because the retail investor doesn't know where the direction is, if the stock is going up or down. And therefore, he trades the option strategy and he gets stuck and he loses money. 
Now in this course I have given you my strategy which tells you the direction example right here you bought it here and this is the 10th day it's still up now I would recommend you to place a 30 day expiry period in a 30 day expiry period you will have a better chance to make money now it's 10th day this one this red candle now let's see what happens next 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 right here it would have ended the like ex it would have expired so we would have bought it uh, the stock at 6250 and sold it at 6784 awesome profit approximately 10 percent profit huge without buying the stock outright it's just the cost of premium that we paid nothing else so this is the number one reason or the number one plan to get good amount of profit far more easily now as you can see it is again going up so you could have initiated a long strangle again at 67.84 and if you look at it it's still moving up 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 so this candle acted as the same way as this candle let me put the icon here these two are the same ones so if you look at it the results is the same 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 let's believe we put uh, a line at its close so it's like 2 4 6 8 10 12 13 14 and 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 we will still end up in profit this is the second trade that is the learning thing always pick according to the pulling a band like results the lines also tells you the trend as you can see the line moves up so it's telling you that the trend is up as the line goes straight it tells you that the trend is straight now let's see what happens next now as you can see again it has moved up so you could have again initiated it and again got a good profit right but now the thing to learn is it is giving you profit 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 but it is also telling you one thing that it has risen so much from 62 or first trade it's now at 85 so right here we would be thinking on short strangle we know that once the Bullinger band contracts we will be initiating short strangle earlier it was going up 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 so we would have not initiated the short strangle because short strangle is made at the time when you are sure that the stock is going to go straight another most important thing is the rise from the bottom as you can see right here it's currently trading at 84 or 86 dollars per share but it has risen from 56 or 58 and we initiated the first uh, long strangle at 62 so it's a huge difference 20 dollars difference or 24 25 dollar difference which means approximately 35 percent rise now whenever you see something like this then there is a higher chance that that stock will either go straight or fall off and that stock becomes a, like far uh, good contender for short strangle because after this much rise then the accumulation and distribution will start to happen what do i mean by accumulation and distribution example i work for a hedge fund i picked the stock at 62 it has risen to 84 and in a hedge fund you would have not picked up like a thousand shares you would have picked up let's say half a million shares 
So now you would start selling them because you have accumulated a good profit. Once you would have sold them all off, then you will decide the next move. So for selling them, it will take like time. And on a hedge fund flow, there are many people trading. So if there is like a huge selling, it will take more days to sell. And that time in which the like one hedge fund is selling and another is buying will act as a straight forward period, going straight period. And that going straight period will act as the time for short strangle. So now on this day, we can initiate this short strangle right on this day. And what will we pick? We will pick the call option above the Bullinger band. And we will initiate the put option on or below the Bullinger band. See? So this is like at 81.80 and the call option is at 86.80. So this is like the difference. Why have we initiated above and below the Bollinger Band? Because whenever the price crosses them, it tells us that the trend is up or down. So we have initiated them so that we are like uh, a bit on a sideline because currently after the scandal, the Bullinger band will always contract. And when it will contract, then you will start to have a space. Now let's see what happens next. One day, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now as you can see, on the seventh day, it has gone lower. It has gone lower. So this means that we could have got a loss trade. So the next day we would have simply squared it up. As you can see it did came back up. So on the next day you would have simply squared it as and when it would have like gone a bit above your strike price. And you would have not waited for on it. The reason being, on the 7th or 8th day, you would have earned something. What do I mean by you would have earned something? The premium time spread helps you. If you have like a $4 profit on a 30 day expiry period, then after 7 day, that premium of let's say $2 per option contract would have reduced to $1.80 and that 20 cents on each option contract that is put and call would have netted into your pocket. So you would have simply bought the opposite example currently you have sold the option contract so you would have bought the put and call contract on this day and boom you're out. Now let's see what happens next. The price continues to come up and down, up and down, up and down. So you can see the price didn't fall off. But as it was dangerous here, it made it looked even more dangerous. It went even more lower, but it eventually came back up. Now the number one thing to note, in a short triangle, we have unlimited losses potential. So whenever it crosses below the Bullinger band, then it's a time to get out. Why? Because you don't want unlimited potential losses. You only want specific losses or time to get out. Now the next day it came back up. So you would have gone out of the market. Even, even let's presume you don't get out. You just watch the market at the last five minutes before closing and on this day you would have squared it so yes you would have lost something but remember 
the difference from this price of 8150 sorry 8160 5 till this uh, close of 8138 it's only a 30 cent loss now you would have earned approximately uh, one and a half dollar per option contract so your earning is approximately three dollars now with seven days as from like our initial trade date till this closing date it's a seven day period so within the seven days those three dollars premium would have reduced due to time spread because after a few days as the expiry date comes nearer the options premium start to get reduced so basically you can just buy the option by paying premium you are understanding my point if i'm if you are not understanding it then do send me the message but it's really simple on this day you'll buy the option contract example put and call and simply get them like completed because why were you waiting for the expiry period because you wanted them to expire worthless because they were open but if you have sold the option contract and earned the premium and after seven days you buy them by like opposite options example you have sold put option so you buy a put option after seven days so you would be paying the premium so bef like seven days before if the premium was three dollars then after seven days the premium would have been dropped to two dollar fifty cents so you would have earned fifty cents and that fifty cents would have helped you clear this loss from this point till the below point and you would have ended the trade at break even or 10 cents into your pocket now this is the best thing because you never lost anything even though the price destroyed your plan and went below the Bollinger band we were expecting the price to stay within the band for a long period of time but it went lower that is the number one learning thing now let's see what happens next it continues to go straight within our points see so our initial target was correct but always remember you should not be like trading in when the price goes below the Bollinger Band or above the Bollinger Band because short strangle have unlimited losses potential and you are always trading to make money never to make a loss so if something goes against you you book the loss get out even though this is not a loss because technically you are being paid for the premium so those premium will like cover this losses up and you will end up with your own money so it, like it's a good thing therefore it is really important that every day you have to like give in 15 minutes of your time pick 10 stocks the best blue chip 10 companies and every day look at their charts every day each and every day just see what is happening why it is happening if you have traded a position then even every day put in a 15 minutes time I would recommend you to put in the 15 minutes time that is at the closing time so that every day you are seeing it okay what is really happening okay now it's doing this okay now it's doing this okay now how will the last 15 minutes act like help you because at the last 15 minutes if you're seeing the price trading below the Bollinger Band then you automatically know there is something wrong and that something wrong could become a real problem so you try to find a way out as you know you have earned a premium so that premium will cover the losses and once it goes below the Bollinger Band then you know it will follow suit and if it will follow suit then it will go from 8138 till 7931 and it can even go lower and pile up the losses for like huge payday for the other party so you don't want huge losses once it goes out of the Bollinger Band you get out of the trade as simple as that Thank you.